Greetings, uh, today we we'll talk about how to export your model from such program as FreeCAD. Initially to Blender and then to Verge 3D. And then we'll add a possibility to change object parameters dynamically. On my screen you can see a web page of this program. It's absolutely free and open source. Here you can download build for Linux, Windows and Mac. In one of the articles that was written by FreeCAD developers, you can find information that they plan to include the importer-exporter plugin into next official Blender build. But it hasn't happened yet and you can find this plugin in one of the FreeCAD developer GitHub repository and test it by yourself. But for now I found a good pipeline how to export your model from FreeCAD, import it to Blender 2.8 and then export it to the Verge 3D engine. I've already made a very simple model and I'll open it in FreeCAD. Here you can see that it's very simple, so it will be very easy to show you how to export, import and prepare model for the Verge 3D engine. I'm an absolute beginner FreeCAD user, but I made this model in 50 minutes just after watching few video tutorials and reading some basic article about using FreeCAD. So let's begin. At first I need to choose my model, then file, export. I will use OBG format to export my model to Blender. I will name it the same mechanism and click on save. Now the model are present here in OBG format. Let's open Blender. I hope you already installed the Verge 3D engine. And to ease our scene preparation, I will open App Manager. I create a new application and will name it, for example, Free Cut Tutorial. Now I click on Create Application. Here you can see it in the list of applications. Let's open Blend file. Here you can see a default cube. Let's delete it. And I go File, Import, Wavefront OBG. Then I go into Fika Tutorial folder with my o OBG file. I removing smooth groups and image search checkbox. And with default preferences I will import this file. It's imported too big, so I'll scale it down in 10 times. Now it fit the size of the scene. So it's done with import. Let's save the file. It looks not so good with a lot of these flat faces. So let's, so let's fix this. I go to edit mode and I'll remove all sharp edges by clicking on clear sharp tool. So the model looks too smooth now. The model is triangulated and I need to join all triangles to polygons to get the better look of the model's shading. I'll select all triangles and type Alt J on my keyboard. And now you can see that all triangles joined into polygons and it gives a better result in shading. On the next step of cleaning of the mesh, I go to mesh preferences of the object. 
geometry data and we'll do a clear custom split normal data. And now the model looks better. Uh, only one thing I need to check is is auto smooth checkbox is checked. And the angles that has more than 30 degrees between the faces became sharp and all other faces became smooth and we get a very good result in shading. And now let's do a sneak peek of our model to see how it looks in the engine. So the model looks very nice. Now let's tune a little bit a material that already present on the model. But this material is too bright and I'll decrease it a little bit to get it darker. And I will set metallic to 1 to get a metal look material. Oh sorry, seems I forgot to switch to the EV engine. It's better to work in EV engine all the time. Let's play with uh, roughness a little bit to get more rough material. And let's it make more darker. Let's do a sneak peek. And now you can see that model already looks very good. Let's return to the model. And let's add a bevel modification. And I choose a limit as angle. So it will add some chamfers on sharp edges. I will click on apply and also I need to apply scale and rotation to get less problems with the model in the future. And let's do the export to the engine. I will open the application in which I exported the model a few seconds before. And now it looks very good. And what is very important to increase the quality of the model is to emphasize its edges. In the EV engine you can do this by enabling of ambient occlusion in scene preferences. If I enable it and a little bit increase the distance, you can see how some edges became more darker, so you can see the edges of the model better. But it not so good for the performance, so I will bake ambient occlusion to the texture and will insert it directly inside the material. For that I will add shading workspace, which not present in my file for now. Now you can see material preferences or material nodes, the model and now I need to make a UV map for my model. Here I will choose a UV editor, there is no UV map on my model. I will go to edit mode, I will choose all faces, but I will click not on the unwrap but on smart uv project with default preferences and i will get a very good result for this model with this tool and now i need to create an image in which i will bake an ambient occlusion i will click on image new and with default references, I will call it mechanism AO. I will uncheck alpha and will create an image. 
Let's save it. I will choose RGB or better black and white to get uh, less weight of the image. And now I, what I need to do is to switch to Cycles Engine because Eevee still can't bake. I'll go to Bake and choose Ambient Occlusion. I will uncheck clear image and margin will set as maximum as possible. And to get a good quality in ambient occlusion with less noise I will set 1000 samples for render. I need to put the image that I created before directly inside the material. I just place it here for a while. And I'll click on Bake. And now, finally, the image is baked. It was a little bit long. And now I need to save the texture. And let's switch back to EV Engine. And now I need connect properly my image to the shader. I'll add a mix shader before my main shader and connect it to it. And to imitate the shadow I will use diffuse best def. I'll choose absolutely pure dark color in it. Diffuse best def I need to connect to upper socket and uh, my material I will connect to lower socket of the mix shader. And as a mix factor I will use the texture that I baked before. Let's look on our model and you can see that we get an imitation of ambient occlusion on our model thanks to this baked texture. Let's save our file, then export to the engine and update our application. That's all, thank you for watching.